Another astonishing example is a female companion. Again, one of the first few who embraced Islam with Muhammad sallallahu And one of the seven slaves whom Abu Bakr radiallahu anhum bought and set free for the sake of Allah. Zinniratul Rumaniya or Rumiya. Zinnira was a female slave, a Roman female slave owned by a tribe from Quraysh. When she heard the message of Muhammad sallallahu she couldn't wait and she immediately embraced Islam and accepted the message of the Prophet sallallahu So her master, the woman, the woman who owned her from Quraysh, started torturing that woman, radiallahu anha. And she used a, a very uh, vulgar way of torture. She would hit her on the head continuously and would collect other female slaves and command them to continue striking her head until Zinnira radiallahu anha lost her sight. She became blind. And they continued to torture her. And whenever she became thirsty and would ask for water, they would mock her and say, it's right in front of you, just walk and you'll get it. And she would stumble and fall. And they would laugh. After a while, her owner said to her, if the God whom you're claiming to be a God is true, call upon him and let him bring back your sight. She said, indeed, he is true. Allahumma rudda alayya basari. Oh Allah, bring back my sight to me. Instantly, her sight was back. As for her master, Allah Azza wa Jal afflicted her with a disease in her head. A pain, a severe pain in the head that would not subside until she struck on her head. So she would command these female slaves to strike her on her head until she lost her sight. Al-jaza'u min jinsil amal. You reap what you sow. 